Okay, so here we're looking at 2014 Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths SEC Paper 2 Question 1. So paper 2 Question 1. The length of the sides of a flat triangular field ACB are AB120, BC134, and AC150. Find the angle CBA. So that's this angle here going from C to B to A. So this angle up there. So the first sort of question that you should ask yourself is what kind of triangle is it? Is it right angled? No, well, it's not right angled. Okay, so go to your log tables, go to the trigonometry section and the top page here or the top of the page it's page 16 is for non right angle triangles so are we using the area formula well no it doesn't reference area at all so then we're left with sine or cosine rule the sine rule or the cosine rule okay so always check the sine rule first if we are using the sine rule you need to know an angle and its opposite side so yes we know a side here but do we know the angle no Double check all the other ones as well. We know the side, but not the angle. We know the side, but not the angle. So we're not physically even able to use the sine rule if we tried. So what we're left with is the cosine rule, making sure that the side that we're interested in is opposite the angle that we know. Okay. So the angle that we're looking for actually is capital A here. Okay, now, technically it is B because it's at the point B, but this is the way the formula is always written, or most commonly written, and I've called it the unknown angle theta here. Making sure that the 150 is opposite the angle that I'm looking for, so the 150 fills in here. And then it doesn't matter whether I go this is B and this is C, or this is C and this is B. The order of B and C don't matter at all. So fill everything in and start manipulating the formula. So I subtract 120 squared and 134 squared from both sides. Then I'm looking at this. A lot of people will make the mistake of just adding this or bringing over, which is a terrible piece of language, adding it to the left-hand side to get cos theta on its own. But remember, how is it connected? It's connected via multiplication. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So we must divide by that. When you do that, then we take the cos inverse of this whole thing on the left-hand side to get theta on its own. So taking the cos inverse of it, and I get 72.15 on its own. Making sure we go to two decimal places as the question is asked. Next question then. Find the area of the triangle. Well, there's two formulas that we can use. We can use half the base by the perpendicular height if it's right angled, or if it's non right angled, we can use this first formula here on the page, half AB sine C, which is commonly referred to as a half the product of two sides by the angle between it. So I can use these two sides and the angle between it. I could not use these two sides because I don't know the angle in the middle. And I could not use those two sides because I do not know the angle in the middle there either. So we have to use 120 and 134. And we're going to use the sine of 72.15, which we just found. A very easy question, again, giving your answer to the nearest whole number. The next part of the question isn't really trigonometry. It falls more into the geometry bracket. Okay, So vertical mass D is fixed at the circumcenter. Now, it's important to know what the circumcenter is. The circumcenter is the point, and this isn't going to look like a circle because it's not on a flat surface, but this point here is equidistant from that and that and that. They're the same distance. They're the radius, or the radii, plural, of the circle. So, talking through what it wants, explain why the three cables AE, EB, and EC must be the same length. Okay, the circumcenter is equidistant to the three vertices of the triangle. So it's these are equidistant. The distance AD, BD, and DC. 
uh, are all equal as they are the radii of the circumcircle. The angle AD must be vertical. So this angle here, this angle here, and this angle here must be vertical. And the mast is common to all three triangles. So this is in all three triangles. Okay, well, we have a right angle triangle. What do you think when you have a right angle triangle? We can use Pythagoras. And as all three triangles have the same sides, the, then the length AE will equal to EB will equal to EC. And that's it done. Okay, Mark's going for the question then. 15 marks to begin with, with rearranging in the cosine rule. I mean, absolutely lovely 15 marks there. Five marks for the area. Okay, nice little five marks again, which leaves five marks for the last part of the question as well and the explanation. Okay, hopefully you found the video useful anyways.